want everyone to take a look at what I've done with these cells. Okay, each one of these two plates is separated by a nylon spacer. I have five sets of two plates. Positive comes in, goes out on a negative to a positive to a negative to a positive to a negative. Basically, this is five two plate cells in series. separated by a nylon spacer. When we got two of these, what I'm going to do, we're going to go into this box, six by six by four inch deep box. Both cells will be divided. And each one of these areas will be sealed from each other. So they go in about, about like that. I'm going to seal every plate cavity from the from the next plate cavity. So it's like having five separate cells. Then on the top. Got a plate. Actually, this is a piece of uh, quarter inch cutting board. Got holes drilled into it. I got a hole for each cell. Five holes. I'm going to completely seal that off. So, what I've created inside of this. It's five different cells. I'll do the same thing with the other side. Just like that. I wanted to show everybody what I was doing here before I sealed this up. I've already run it um, on a load. It's making pretty good gas. Um, of course it could always be better. It's only pulling 3 amps with 3 tablespoons actually two teaspoons of baking soda added so I'd like to get the amps up but I'm not sure that uh, I'm gonna be able to do that uh, I might be able to get them up a little bit after these separate cells are sealed um, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and seal this all up finish this unit up and then we're gonna put it on the tester and, and see what it does if you have any questions for me, please leave comments. I appreciate it, every comment that I get. Okay, now I've got the cells in the container. And as you can see, there's two separate chambers. So I've got two separate cells with five sets of two plates. All of the cells will be isolated from each other with the nylon plate. On the sides is where the water will enter in to the cells on the bottom side 
there's some small holes drilled one for each one hole for each pair of cells Put shrink tape over the leads, power leads. Now I'm going to put these tops on. We'll have one hole for each pair of cells so the gas can escape without the uh, voltage escaping. I'm going to go ahead and put these on and then show you show you the finished product.